Hey everybody, welcome to Camping with Steve. Just got dropped off here in this residential area and we're gonna do a little bit of a Christmas special if we can do that. So beautiful homes, a lot of really nice uh, Christmas lights up. That just gets us in the festive mood. And behind these houses, there's a little bit of a forest or a patch of woods here. That should do just fine. It is a little bit cold today for sure. Um, not quite as bad as it was in the last video. This is only around minus 10 or 11 Celsius tonight. I'll put the conversion up there so it's manageable. I've got the backpack um, and hopefully I got enough sleeping bags to stay warm tonight. And, oh yeah, look at this behind me here. It's just perfect. Just following in a little game trail here there's been a little bit of activity, but not much. Wanting to avoid the main walking trail, for obvious reasons. But uh, despite how dark it looks, it's only like 5 p.m. And in these neighborhoods, I don't wanna go in too early because there's like still kids playing and stuff. And uh, you know, the sun sets at 4.20. The days are finally getting longer, long last. And I wanna be a little bit further away I think we're getting to where we need to be. This spot should do just fine. Far enough away from the houses, but still close enough to the road, which I'll have to get to later tonight um, for food related reasons. But uh, I have this winter camo netting stuff. It's the same stuff as the summer stuff I was using, except it's a little more appropriately colored. And I got questions about it, uh, where to buy it, etc. I get this in Canada from Canadian Tire. And I've been looking on like Amazon for other links. But it's really good stuff. It's called this Vanish. Um, it's uh, got Mossy Oak uh, branded on it uh, by Allen.com. So, yeah. Um, of course not sponsored or nothing, but uh, it's a good product and I don't mind saying what's a good product when I come across them. So, anyway, first things first, give some stealth. This seems pretty good. Oh, just some people on the trail there walking right past. Got the setup just in time. Uh, kind of hides what's going on here, in my opinion. Looks pretty good. Just packing down the snow here so I can set my cot up. Got a little backpack and caught with me. <laughs> and of course, the big downside with the winter stealth is it takes a lot of equipment to stay warm and the backpack is just humongous usually. So there is no shelter just out under the stars tonight. If I could see them, if it wasn't so cloudy. Thank you. 
Okay, so at least I'm not directly on the snow. And that's half the battle. I got a little bit of light from my phone here going so that you can see me. And I'm not too worried about it right now because when people have their lights full blast in the house and it's dark outside, they can't see much. What I'd really have to worry about is later at night when they're laying in bed and see some flashlight in the woods behind their house. And that would be a bad thing. So I've got to get my sleeping bags lofting up because that is half the battle. Um, if you just pull them out of that bag, you ain't going to be warm. These things need time to rise to the occasion. This one is so thin it doesn't even have a temperature rating on it. So that's what I'll use inside the other one. It's, uh, yeah, no rating on it. And the other one here, I had good luck with that. This one was the inner liner on the last video. Ooh, get a little more light on this one right here. And this one claims to be minus seven Celsius or 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's in the ballpark of the temperatures I'm expecting for this evening. Obviously, with no shelter, I'm really hoping it doesn't snow tonight. The forecast said it shouldn't, and when have they been wrong, am I right? <laughs> Just heading out a little further to see how obvious this quote-unquote structure is from a little further away. Hmm, a little obvious. So, that is much, much better. I feel very confident stealthing in there tonight. Right on, this is one of the more peaceful spots I've found. Uh, there's basically no road noise. There's been a few people hiking on that trail back there, but I've seen a lot worse in other places. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, the sleeping bags should do the job for the night. And I have a plan to order some uh, skip the dishes because with the backpack, it's so hard to fit cooking gear, etc., in along with uh, all the other stuff to stay warm in these temperatures. So uh, I want to do like a Christmas theme meal. Unfortunately, the only place that I could see that delivers is like Denny's, <laughs> but it's still going to be turkey. So we can have a nice Christmas uh, holiday theme meal. That should be just great. Um, I think uh, things are going to be all right. First things first, of course, before I order any Uber Eats or skip the dishes or DoorDash or any of those things to crack a step two. Um, not overly festive, it's just a beer, but that's okay because um, I've got some eggnog for later, so that's gonna be a really nice treat. Mm.
somebody walked down the trail. Somebody was following them another 20 feet back and they stopped. And then I shut up for a second. And then, uh, yeah. 10 minutes later, they're back down the trail with flashlights. And this is a residential area. People obviously have a right to be concerned that someone's out in the woods um, for no reason on a cold night behind their house. And untie these knots so gloves are not an option. here or that's the police and the straps broke on the backpack I was worried about that Did I do some surgery on that yeah that's the ride good okay um, that was interesting okay time to get out of here and uh, see what I can do uh, yeah great pretty good sleep um, in the apartment last night. Uh, things did not go, of course, to plan as I thought. Uh, that's about the closest call I've ever had. Um, there's been a couple of times where I threw in the towel kind of right at the beginning of a stealth because I was clearly busted before I'd even set up, so that didn't make it into a video. But that was what a failed stealth camping trip looks like. And I cannot chance it um, when somebody is out there with a flashlight shining into the woods and they've doubled back and walked over to see what's going on i'm like okay uh this is time to get out of here uh before the police show up and actually on the way out um there was a police car coming that way i don't know of course if they were going there or not but i'm always paranoid about that type of stuff so um let's get on to the the business of the holiday season the festive season the christmas season dare i say um sitting here with the garbage you doing all right there? Yeah, Garbage likes this uh, tree thing now. He's finally just started to get used to it. Uh, he's just been kind of crashing in uh, the bed usually with us. But anyways, so um, I have to give a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate, uh, festive season, holiday season, I don't know. We're not gonna get complicated on that. We just all wanna have a good shortest day of the year and the next like week and a half afterwards where we can um, eat a bunch of good food, drink a bunch of step twos, possibly fast if that's something people do. But uh, I'm not going to fast. I'm going to pour myself an eggnog, the one I desperately needed last night because it's uh, after 12 now and I think that's about time. needed. Awesome. Just 
day out of this. So, Garbage the kitty, uh, from People Know, was uh, rescued from the acreage. He just walked into the house one day and um, wasn't leaving. So I had to feed him and I thought he'd go away once he was full, but then he just stuck around. So he's been all run through the vet procedure now. Uh, he's just got his uh, lampshade off that they put onto him. And he really likes sitting here looking out the window and hungering down. Perfect cat. Doesn't even like to play. He just like sits there and sleeps and yeah, he's like, what are you disturbing me for? So, great. Doesn't even like laser pointers. Perfect cat, in my opinion. And beautiful wife loves him because he'll just curl up and um, they can watch a Christmas movie together. And, uh, you know, there you are, Garb. Uh, yeah, a big stretch. A lot better than out in the woods at the acreage, eh? Yeah, I think so. So, we got this extreme cold rolling in here. And we could be looking at lows of minus 35 Celsius, which is about minus 31 Fahrenheit. Um, they do line up at minus 40. Um, even though that sounds strange, it's because every degree is a different amount. Um, you know, a degree Celsius is a different amount of a degree than Fahrenheit. So eventually they line up and then they start going the other way where Celsius is higher than Fahrenheit or vice versa. So anyway, um, yeah, it's blustery. There is a bit of a blizzard and um, today, actually, I'm just about to upload this. I'm just having an eggnog and doing some editing, getting in the donations, um, which we'll address. But uh, getting this done before beautiful wife and I just sit down for some good movies because it's uh, the anniversary of our first like successful date. We had uh, the first date was absolutely horrible, and I'm surprised <laughs> I got a second date because uh, it was an it was a it was an awful date. Uh, I, won't go into it, but uh, the uh, December 23rd was uh, our first successful date that we had, which was great, and that led to us getting married and um, getting this cat. So um, <laughs> the uh, the donations that came in, um, there are the residual normal uh, beer donation ones that come in, uh, which I'm very thankful for. Like people have donated monthly, um, you know, some are a dollar or whatever. It's Everything helps, you know, 12 bucks a year for sure. You get your name up every month, but I'm not kind of pushing for that. I'm debating what to do in the new year coming forward. Um, I have turned off the beer donations for the people that want to come in and do weekly ones or uh, or on the fly. And I don't know if I'm going to go to a, like a Patreon or just do nothing at all. But I know people want to be able to, you know, get birthday shout outs out and stuff. And, um, you know, Patreon may be a way to do that I'm still evaluating but we will <clears throat> we'll see what happens over the next little bit but these awesome people have donated of course um, to the monthly thing and uh, there's also other folks that have donated to special causes which is why I turned off the beer donations there was those floods in BC and there's the tornado relief funds now like there's always something local food banks and I have told people just reach out to me um, through whichever way we can. Um, the stevewallace.com is probably the best because uh, then I can do it all kind of at once. But uh, for the folks that have donated to that, thank you so much. You've donated to help your communities, help those that need this time of year. I sleep outside once a week, uh, barring things going wrong. But uh, there's people that do it seven days a week <clears throat> with no end in sight and no beer fund and no eggnog and no cat. So uh, these folks need... Uh, definitely send the donations that way until until further notice in the new year we'll look at things and we'll see where we go from there but um, yeah uh, I could sit here and ramble on I guess you know if if the folks just want to see the stealth or the camping uh, you can check out now um, I take no offense or you probably already have checked out so now it's just people who want to learn more about garbage and the eggnog and the apartment but uh, we're um, we still haven't furnished the place, uh, hence the camp chairs and, you know, we have three musical instruments and two chairs um, in the place, along with uh, garbage, you got a little more furniture than we do. Um, but this is pretty solid hardwood stuff. We're having trouble finding that around here. Uh, it's all press board stuff and 
really cheap. Like we want furniture that after 10 years, we're not throwing it out. We're just gonna like reupholster it or something. So trying to find some good traditional looking um, furniture um, that's good and stable so and comfortable. It's a hard mix to find and dirt cheap, of course. <laughs> I know we won't find that. Anyway, um, yeah, I do wish uh, that would have gone a little bit better last night. However, sadly, um, it could have been worse, I'll say that. Uh, on the way out of that trail, I'm, I'm like a disgusting mess. I got like snot running on my nose, I've been out cold, my hands are freezing. And from doing all that stuff barehanded, I'm carrying like a camera in one hand that's recording the backpack and the cop thing because the backpack things came undone on the back. So I'm stumbling out and there's this horrified woman walking her dog. Uh, and it's a big dog too. He could have taken me down for sure. And, you know, I'm stumbling out of this trail and she like backs up and she looks at me like horrified. Like, what's this guy stumbling out of the woods with a camera for? Like, it's exactly the situation I tried to avoid, uh, but that happened and it's best to do because I don't want to be, I'd, I'd rather be preemptively leaving the site than when there's police coming through the forest or the woods and then, you know, writing me a ticket for having a step two out there or whatever the case is. Um, I don't want to distract the police resources from where they're actually needed in the world. So. I guess with that said, um, we are going to have a great Christmas over the next few days. Beautiful wife and I are going to the in-laws. That's where we typically do the Christmas. Uh, really small thing, um, but uh, it's become a tradition, which is very different than my Christmases in the motorhome days. Oh boy, um, yeah. Christmas was like any other day in the RV. I was there alone watching a movie. Um, the only thing different is that a lot of the stores were closed, so it was I had to stock up before on anything that I wanted. So um, I guess we'll see what we can do in the cold weather coming up here. Um, thank you all for watching. I'm sorry this one was, uh, it turned out to not be what I'd envisioned. But however, um, going forth, I'll try to get um, <clears throat> a couple more stealth done before spring but without ample planning and a lot of trips out into that spot to carry gear it's pretty difficult and we're just waiting for the weather to clear up the roads to clear up and um then we can finally begin our journey uh unless travel restrictions come up so who really uh who really knows isn't that right garbage yeah well thanks everybody uh Thank you for watching. We'll see you. Uh, I'm not anticipating that I'm going to miss the next video here. We just have to figure out a way to film something in pretty cold. And normally I do those. I have the buddy heater or a wood stove or something like that. So um, I wouldn't expect stealth, but it'll be what it will. So cheers. We'll see you guys uh, next week.